So uh, welcome everybody. Today is uh, Wednesday, April 29th, I think. It's the last Wednesday in April. This is my fourth um, Gorton Live, Facebook Live video. Uh, my name is Leslie Lenz. I'm an art teacher at the Deer Path Art League. And um, I, uh, thanks Michelle for waving at me. I'm um, uh, uh, doing these draw alongs because I enjoy them so much. And it's one of the things that I do with my kids in my after school art program. So Deer Path Art League, after school art program and art camp. And whenever we get back up at Gorton, I'll be there. So um, welcome everybody. So today we're doing a draw along. We're doing an owl. And I just wanted to show you, um, I did a pencil last night. I don't know if you can see it because we've got uh, different lighting today. But I did a pencil last night, but I didn't draw my box first. And my owl's wing went off the page. So um, what you need today to do this is some paper, um, computer paper, just regular computer paper. Or you could draw this in your sketchbook. You need um, a pencil. I've got a couple of pencils here. Uh, pencils with erasers, although I don't think either one of those erasers are very good. And then we're going to do, we're going to take those, that pencil drawing and trace it with a Sharpie marker. I have another marker here that I love. It's called a Zig Writer. It's a um, two-point writer. The Sharpie marker is alcohol-based. So when you put that down, you can color with watercolors and color pencils. But if you try to color with other alcohol pens, the lines will bleed. So this one here is a pigment based and I draw with this a lot when I do watercolors or if I'm doing something that I'm going to color in with alcohol based markers. So that's the difference between those two pens. All right, so let's get started because it's 1.30 on Wednesday afternoon. Now I hope you can see um, what I do first is I draw my box. And I'm drawing my box a little bit darker today. Usually I use a really light line so I can erase it. But um, we're a little bit short on light today. Um, I am going to start this owl by doing a circle right here. It's kind of just like we did last week when we did the lion. Um, and I'm inside my circle, I'm going to put a heart. Now my kids have trouble drawing hearts, so I tell them what you want to draw first is a sideways B, and then you want to draw a V, and you have a really nice heart. So um, again, can you guys see, if it's really dark, I will turn the overhead lights on, but I'm not so sure that's going to help us any. Okay, so we've got a circle. This is a barn owl. Um, I looked up owls and there's also a barred owl, B-A-R-R-E-D, but I'm pretty sure this one with the face, with the heart face, is a barn owl. I might be wrong. Um, one of the things about owls is you really never see them because they're only out at night. Um, so, all right, so I've drawn my top of my um, heart, the letter B, my V, and now I'm gonna draw two big circles here for where his eyes go, and a little tiny skinny V for his beak. Um, I'm going to put his dark eyes right inside, and I'm going to add a little bit of a line that goes up because I think that's the way that owl looks. So now that I've got his head there, I'm going to place his body. Owls have very strange bodies. They're all feathers. The owl actually, his um, his legs, it's mostly head and legs. So that's my body. And then I'm going to draw this big um, sort of backwards upside down D right here for his wing. And I'm going to even show you, I don't have it on the drawings that I did, but his legs actually look like this. And then they come down really long, really long legs. And I guess we're going to go over the line here. So I'm drawing his legs. And I'm he's got kind of textured, scrawny legs. Um, and then I'm going to look at, at, I don't know if you can see that one up there, but I'm going to look at, I've done a couple of these. I'm going to draw feathers 
right down the bottom here. Now you can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing big, long tubes that end up sticking in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. And since I'm drawing these feathers sort of apart, I think I might add another extra layer of feathers in here to make his wings look a little bit thicker. Here's the rest of his tail. And one of the things that I did, because he's got this fluffy, fluffy, this is all feathers here. You know, he's probably really teeny tiny, but he's got all fluffed out with these feathers. I'm going to just draw a little scalloped edge around him there. Now, my pencil lines and my, my um, uh, headline don't work, but I'm going to fix it when I go in to do my, um, uh, uh, what I'm going to go in to do with my black pen. All right, I'm going to give him some polka dots. I'm not quite sure if this barn owl has polka dots or not, but. I love polka dots. I love hearts. So they're my go-to things. And then I'm also going to give him, it's going to be standing on my tree here. So I'm going down below my tree. And one of the things that I did to make my tree branch have some texture was I gave it some swirls here. All right, so now I'm going to look and see if... Um, Okay, there's no questions there. So now let's fix him. Let's fix him with my my pen here. So I'm going to use this zig pen. It's got a thin and a thick. I'm going to use the thick end. And I'm going to really fix that heart of his eyes. I will go back in and erase those pencil lines. And there's his beak. And I'm going to go ahead and do his eyes. Big again feather, feathers around his eyes and I want to color in his eyes but I'm going to leave a little dot so they look nice and um, reflective oh he looks kind of like a baby barn owl and then I'm going to go in first and do the scallop line because this is kind of a hard line to do um, but you know what practice do it a couple of times and then I'm going to go in and go make that second circle just a little bit smaller to be inside of that scallop line. Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to just go ahead and do my outline. I'm going to have to go to the jewel next time I go for food and get myself a couple more black Sharpie markers because I've been drawing so much with my Sharpie markers that they are running out. It's the sad thing about Sharpie markers. They're alcohol-based. They dry really fast. Um, got to keep the caps on them. All right. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to do his legs like this. So he's a little bit different from my prototype. I'm going to go ahead and do his, um, wing, top of his wing. Give him some polka dots. I'm actually going to give him more polka dots by just punching on the, the, there. And then... Give him some feathers, or at least go right around the feathers. Now, one of the things that you can do with these feathers, I'm going to switch to the thinner line on this pen. Um, I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this and make those feathers, well, this, this pen is not very dark, make those feathers look like they, like a feather. They have some texture to them. Okay. We're giving up on that pen. Now we're going to switch over to the big black Sharpie, see if this one's got more ink on it because my pen's run out of ink. There we go. Yeah, see, that's a nice black, black line. All right. So there's his wing, and I'm going to do his tail feathers. You can actually do another feather, this same feather. You can do it right here right on this side and he could have two feathers going out. Um, I don't have any really good owl stories except for there was an owl who lived in the tree across the street from me for a while a couple years ago and there was one night that he was sitting on top of my garage and so um, I took a picture of him. I wonder if I still have that picture. I'm gonna have to go search my Google photos to see if he's there. So here are the rest of his feathers. You can't make too many feathers because 
you know, this owl will really want to spread out his wings. And then the only thing I want to do down here is just make some swirly marks. Some of these swirly marks are, you only get half the swirl. Color him in. And then one of the things that, because he's got feathers, is you can actually make some fun little tick marks all the way around to really give his feathers some texture. Um, I was actually given these texture too. So the more the texture, the better your, they're always going to look. He's going to have all sorts of uh, fluffy feathers. So, all right, he's done. I'm going to do my name. You always need to put your name on a piece of art. Uh, one of the things that we say at the gallery is if it has your name, it doubles in price. So always put your name on there. I'm going to actually write 2020. Um, so he's there and he's ready to get colored. Um, I'm going to go um, turn on the TV and color my owl. Um, I hope all of you enjoyed this today and come back. I'm going to keep doing these one a week. So uh, thank you very much and uh, hope to see you guys soon. And now I'm going to hit finish. Thanks, guys. Bye.